Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out with Brian O'Shaughnessy, renowned trainer at the Peacock Gym in East London. Let's talk about Lawrence Okoli, obviously the most celebrated member of your team at the moment at least. Um, he's fighting on the big Anthony Joshua Bill next month against Matty Askin for the British title. Already won the Commonwealth belt, which he's recently relinquished. Did you expect him to have achieved so much already as he has or is he ahead of your timescale? When I first started training with Aunt Lawrence, um, he used to say things in front of everybody and people used to look at him and think, what's he talking about? But there was something about what he said and I kind of believed in what he said. He kind of believed in me. We came, we came across each other by chance, really, but as soon as we started working with each other, something clicked. And I had confidence in his vision and he had confidence in me. And everything he said from the first time that we started training with each other is virtually what he's planning out now. So it's not really a surprise to me because I believe in his vision. And similar to what we were asking you about Umar Sadiq, what made, it, what made Lawrence stand out to you when you first started working together? Why were you keen to work with him? It's just the thing with a trainer and a fighter. Sometimes you, tr you click with a fighter, sometimes you don't click. He had been around many other trainers and many other gyms, but they always wanted something from him. But I didn't want nothing from him. I just wanted to see him progress. And once he started to progress, uh, everything started to fall in place. Once things started to fall in place, then the rest is history, really. How did it come about you guys actually working together? Because you didn't represent West Ham, did he, as, a, as an amateur? No. Well, what, by the time I was, um, started working with him, I was at uh, TKO in Canning Town, professional gym. I'd left West Ham. Uh, he came down with one of his friends um, and uh, he started talking to me. Um, he asked me if I could do some pads with him. I'd done some pads with him and I went through one routine with him. So that's for me not knowing him, him not knowing me. One routine. And from that routine, he said, I want to work with you. Uh, don't ask me what the routine is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that routine is like, is something I based all my fighters on. Okay. So he kind of understood where I was coming from, from just that one routine. And what makes him stand out amongst, not just the other prospects in his way, but the people you've worked with in the past and prospects that you've worked with, what, what makes him stand out from the pack? Um, it's hard to say really what makes him stand out, but he's got all the attributes. He's got the self-belief, just like Umarais. He's got the work ethic, just like Umarais. He's got the team spirit, just like Umarais. So as a team now, they're all picking each other up. You know, and it even makes me pick, each, pick myself up, because you saw me in there, I'm working <laughs> as well, you know, so it's infectious. Next fight, as we talked about, Matty Askin for the British yeah. title. What do you make of Askin as a fighter? How much have you seen of him over the years? And what attributes do you think he brings to the fight that you need to be concerned about or to work on? Askin's a good fighter. He's as dangerous in the last round as he is in the first round. So out of all the fighters I've seen before Lawrence turned professional, Askin's were the ones I've pointed out to Lawrence that he's a consummate professional. Um, so no matter what happens, before that final bell, you've got to be, you've got to be switched on. Um, as long as we're switched on and Lawrence is switched on, I'm confident Lawrence is a bit of the other the better. How soon can we be talking about European titles, eliminators at world titles, world titles themselves for Lawrence? Because he's moved so fast as an amateur as well and as a pro already. How soon can we talk about that sort, those sort of fights? Well, we don't look past the next opponent. So we'll face Matt Yaskin. And then once we face that, Matt Yaskin, we'll see what comes up. You know, but whatever comes up, we're ready for it. And just tell us a bit about your relationship, both with Lawrence and with Umar, outside the gym. Would you, is it still kind of teacher-student? Are you quite friendly outside the gym? What, what sort of relationship do you have with your fighters? Uh, they see me like an uncle, really. Um, so if they've got a problem with anything, they'll, they'll phone me up or they'll message me, ask me what my opinion is. Um, and the more they ask me, the more they value my opinion. So it's not just as a coach, it's, you can, I suppose you can look at it as a mentor. So if they've got any kind of problems or issues, then, then I'll try and see them through it. 